a difficult, difficult day to digest for every Indian. And we're hoping that the Prime Minister will make some kind of a statement. Indro, is that possible? Is that likely? We do know that the Prime Minister, after inspecting the actual wreckage site, will be going to the a hospital to meet with survivors and their families. Any chance the Prime Minister will speak? Well, that, there is all possibility that the Prime Minister, uh, you know, uh, speaks to the media. Uh, he will be visiting uh, the hospital to meet uh, some of the victims there. So, um, uh, quite possible, Shiv, because uh, we've seen that, you know, in such situations, the Prime Minister does, uh, you know, speak out to the media and he always has his message very loud and clear. Uh, will there be a, will there be a very strong message uh, in favor of improving safety in the Indian railways? Look, the Prime Minister uh, has his uh, uh, you know cards on the game because he is somebody who wants uh, technological progress, and uh, and everybody knows that the Bullet Train project is very close to his heart, and so is the Vande Bharat project. So many of the Vande Bharat trains have been inaugurated by none other than the Prime Minister himself. In that context, so when he's trying to build this image of a progressive nation which is progressing technologically, well advanced, uh, this does not really all go well. This image of mangal coaches lying there, it does, does not give a very, very positive image of India as a technological superpower, uh, provided that it's happening in 2023 and, and the entire world is watching us. Uh, uh, given the kind of, uh, you know, scenes that are unfolding here in Balaso. So clearly, the Prime Minister would be on a damage control mode, and it would be interesting to see what he says. Interesting to see what he says. Hopefully, the Prime Minister, uh, you know, will have a word to say. Uh, Ashwini Vaishnav had reached early this morning. Uh, very ironic, the, uh, the, the Railway Minister who is under all-round political attack, was in Goa to inaugurate a Vande Bharat Express that was being uh, inaugurated there. Uh, sadly, he had to uh, cut short that because of the scale of this terrible tragedy that has taken place on his watch. And the, uh, very appropriately, the railway minister was first on site. He was there from early this morning. He's been there. Uh, he hasn't moved from that site all day today. The Prime Minister has just arrived and is getting that personal briefing from the Railway Minister. As per protocol, they will be at the site. Uh, we understand that NDRF personnel or the Chief will also be meeting the Prime Minister in just a short while from now to get a full briefing on what exactly happened. In, in just a few minutes from now, we're going to expand our coverage. We're going to be bringing in our experts as well to take you through the rest of our coverage. But the Prime Minister and Ashwini Vaishnav are now... Going to be, are going to be at the tragedy site where they will get a first-hand view of what actually happened. Remember that through India Today's coverage, we've been adding many layers to our understanding of how such a thing could have taken place. The only channel reporting from the joint inspection report as well, Indro, a signaling issue is said to have been responsible for this tragedy and we are getting more information now and that's precisely what the Prime Minister is going to be briefed about as well. And don't miss the symbolism of this entire thing, because uh, if you see, since, our morning, uh, since the morning when we were covering this uh, tragedy, we've seen politics playing out. Uh, yesterday, right after the incident took place, uh, the Trinamool Congress were the first to demand the resignation of uh, Ashwini Vaishnav, the uh, railway minister. In fact, uh, uh, you know, Shogatha Roy went ahead saying this. Uh, Abhishek Banerjee had also tweeted this. So in that backdrop, with the Prime Minister standing steadfast next to the uh, Union Railway Minister in this hour of crisis, does send a signal. Uh, and uh, a lot of people, uh, uh, the, the, the opinion clearly is divided on whether or not this is, this is a very, uh, this, this kind of a gesture of a, of a Railway Minister accepting responsibility and then, uh, you know, resigning is something of a very old school uh, device. It's quite a party, many would say, because... Uh, what is required, of course, is to take owners and make the necessary changes that are required, like uh, installing safety systems and ensuring that those safety mechanisms are in place across the country, uh, as, uh, across the railway system. So uh, I, I would rather say that this is, this is a very, very important symbolism with the Prime Minister holding forth there, along with uh, Ashwini Vaishnav and, 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 uh, uh, and speaking to him and trying to understand from the railway minister uh, this would clearly give uh, a stern and strong message perhaps to the opposition parties which are now literally gunning for uh, the railway minister.
And these are images of Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the train tragedy site. The Prime Minister flanked by Ashwini Vaishnav and Dharmendra Pradhan along with police officials and rescue teams. The police have cordoned off a part of this area but this is an, an, a tragedy where you see a large number of relatives, onlookers and rescue workers on site. There are heavy JCB machines that are working round the clock uh, to now that the rescue operation is over. Now restoration operations are currently underway. Uh, police of course cordoning off uh, this area completely. The Prime Minister is being briefed about what went wrong. Uh, uh, Indrajit Kundu, my colleague, with me on the story. Indrajit, as the Prime Minister gets briefed by this, and now the railways has clarified that the much spoken of Kavach system was not there on this line. But could the Kavach system have helped prevent this tragedy? It's a, the magnitude, three trains colliding with each other. Well, absolutely. You know, uh, see, the, the covered system or the anti-collision system, uh, you know, uh, may have averted a bigger tragedy. But nonetheless, uh, there is a signal failure, as we have been reporting. And if that has happened, so how, can, how could one uh, stop that? Uh, uh, there was a good strain that was uh, stranding at the, uh, you know, just outside the platform, uh, just outside the station. Then the Coromandel Express comes in with full uh, velocity and rams into the good strain. Then the bogies fell off on the other track. And then there's another train that's coming in, the Yashwantpur uh, Express. And that hits the, uh, some of the mangled bogies of the uh, Coromandel Express. And the images that we are showing, uh, the drone images, they are spectacular and they are haunting. So in that sense, what are the safety mechanisms that are there? Was it a human error or was it a um, you know, mechanical failure? These are things that will come out once there is a thorough investigation. Of course, there is a preliminary investigation that has been done. And I'm sure, uh, as the railway minister, is the prime minister is flanked by the railway minister. Uh, he is briefing the prime minister as to what exactly went through and what could be the possible solutions, because that is something that everybody needs to focus on, the possible solutions and how to make the Indian railway system advanced and flawless and safe and secure at a time when we are talking about high-tech trains like Bande Bharat or the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train. So, Indrajit, when you speak of the bullet train or when you speak of high-speed trains and Vande Bharat, uh, on old tracks like this one, where you do not have the Kavach uh, anti-collision system installed, uh, I, I was reading a report that says that uh, in the 2022-23 budget, uh, Kavach system was to be installed in 2,000 kilometer uh, area. Now, for 65,000 kilometers will take a very long time. Has the railways been moving to install this on, on bigger routes, on longer routes? How do you prevent accidents like this till the time covered systems installed all over? What are experts telling you? That's true, absolutely, Gaurav. You know, unless we have a more mechanized system where there is less of a human intervention and possibly less human error, uh, I don't think we would be able to move an inch forward. And remember, this is the uh, you know, exact conversation that I was having with Shiv. That, you know, from one uh, uh, tragedy to the other, uh, we keep moving from one railway accident to the other. These are just numbers. But that's not how it should be. Lessons should be learned. And uh, there, there should be mechanisms in place. Changes should be, uh, you know, uh, there. So, therefore, when you see the kind of politics that's playing out right now with everybody gunning for uh, the railway minister's uh, resignation, uh, the question that arises in my mind, of course, is that, uh, will a resignation really change anything or rather, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the minister learns from this tragedy, the, the, the organization learns from this tragedy, the Indian Railways, and they actually uh, take a cue and uh, develop the system uh, and, and, and bring in new technology.